Hi guys, thanks for dropping in to my paperclip demo and today I'll be showing you how to make a paperclip in Onshape using the drawing that we've been given. So, um, I have here a split screen situation where I have Onshape on the left side and the drawing on the right. So, first things first, let's look at our um, drawing on the right. Um, we can see that we've been giving a, given a lot of numbers with the unit of inches we can see here on the bottom right um a lot of information about the 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 thing that we're about to make including the um, units and the material so let's get started so we'll have to start off by creating a sketch on the top plane and here we have a sketch on the top plane um, we can start by drawing this top arc of the paperclip. And um, you can really start with anything. Um, this is just my personal preference, so I'll be showing you how to do this. Um, first things first, we notice that the um, arc is able to move a lot since it's unconstrained. So we'll want to constrain it so that we can make sure that it doesn't move. How do we do that? We can um, there are a variety of different ways, but this is the easiest by far. You press I so that you can open uh, incident, and you want to incident the center to the origin. So there we go. Um, but you notice that it's still blue, and that's because we haven't dimensioned it yet. Um, the arc isn't set how um, what the diameter or the radius is. So how do we do that? We take we take this, or we can press D at the same time, or um, both achieve the same effect. Uh, click the arc, and that gives us our radius. Um, in this case, the radius would be um, 1.5 divided by 2, since, um, since this gives us the, us the diameter, and we would want the radius. So there we go. Um, next, things, next thing, we would have to draw a three inch line on the right. So we take the line uh, by pressing L or maybe clicking the widget, uh, the, the button on the top bar and you draw a three inch line. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, we want to dimension it now. Um, press D, dimension three. And there we go. There, there's a three inch line. So now we want to draw the outer perimeter of this, which is five inches. So we draw another line, just like the one on the other side and make it five inches. There we go. Cool. Um, next thing, we have to make this arc and that would be 1.25. And we press this button to get the arc and make sure that it's constrained horizontally and then uh, constrained with a tangent. So Radius, same as before, you would have to divide the diameter by 2. So 1.25 divided by 2, that gives us our radius here. Um, and yeah, now we would have to continue with a 4-inch vertical line that goes straight up. Um, uh, starting from here and um, ending there. Now we constrain it by pressing D. Um, four. There we go. And now we have to draw a curve, and this, uh, sorry, an arc. And this is difficult because we don't know. Um, it doesn't. The drawing does not immediately tell us what kind of, uh, what the dimension of the arc is. So we are going to have to deduct that um, using guess and check, or maybe um, big brain energy. <laughs> so, um. We know that it has to be less than 0 0.625. So um, you press dimension um, and you you can either, here you can either start plugging in numbers that make it look as correctly as it, as, as it can, or um, another way is to look for patterns. And in this case, there's a very clear pattern here. Um, the diameter decreases by 0 0.25 each time um, there's an arc, so we can safely assume this: the diameter of this inside arc is 1, which means that the radius is going to be 0 0.5. There we go, 0 0.5. Um, 
Now we're almost done. We just have to draw a, a vertical line that goes down like this and is um, vertically constrained and horizontally constrained to this other point. So there we go. There is that. Um, we have our outline sketch of the outside edge of the paperclip. And many of you guys might be tempted right now to um, to continue with the inside sketch, but that is actually not advised. Um, instead, we have a much better way to do this using um, a feature, a built-in feature called sweep. And um, sweep with sweep, it follows a line and creates a long cylindrical shape. So that would be perfect for this operation. Now, before I move on, I think it's necessary to preface that um, there are a lot of different ways that you can do this um, uh, drawing, but um, um, today, for demonstration purposes, I will only be showing the sweep in order for you guys to learn a new skill. So, let's begin by switching the perspective. Before, we were on the top plane, so now we're going to move to the front plane. We're going to create a sketch on the front plane. So click sketch and then click the front plane to make sure that we're sketching on the right one. And um, create a circle. And the circle has to be a diameter of 0 0.125 based on the sketch. So there's that. Um, um, sorry, let's make it horizontal to the origin and over here um, you would normally you would try to tangent um, press T and then tangent the side of the circle to this point but right now it doesn't seem possible since it gives you the red so you press Control Z to undo and instead you set um, a dimension instead just to make sure that it's the right distance in this case, it would be um, 0 0.6875. It's a pretty arbitrary number. Um, 0 0.6875. But um, um, after crunching some numbers and doing the math, um, it checks out on my side of the calculator. Um, normally, though, you would uh, probably want to do this on your own just to make sure it's correct. So we dimension it like this. Um, and there we go. We have a um, we have everything we need for a sweep. Um, we have the face and region to sweep, and we have a sweep path. So um, for this one, you want to click um, the circle. And for a sweep path, we want to click the outside edge of the paper clip. And uh, slowly, you'll see the paper clip come to life. You'll see um, the parts being connected and all fitting together. So after you're done with that, press check. And there you have it, a paper clip of your own. And it looks just like this one, so we know that we did it correctly. Um, normally, you would stop here, but if you were to be nitpicky, um, there are a se several other things you might want to do before you um, call a part completely done. First thing would be assigning material. Second thing would be um, assigning appearance. So for material, um, you notice here um, it says aluminium 6061. So you go to uh, search here. Um, you can scroll down and then you see all these different types of aluminium, but you make sure to choose this one because they all have different densities. So you're choosing this one, you've set the um, uh, set the material, and all you need to do is set appearance. And normally paper clips are um, silverish gray, so that's what we're going to go with for today. Um, and there we go. Um, it looks just like um, how it's supposed to look like. And um, thank you for listening.